How's it going guys? Nathaniel Hawthorne here and today we're going to be doing a review of the Essential Knit Sweater. So if you're interested in knowing more about the sizing, the fit, the overall quality and value proposition that comes with this garment, then this video is definitely going to help. If you guys don't already know, my name is Nathaniel Hawthorne and I make fashion and life coaching YouTube related content. So if looking good and leading a happier and healthier life is something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But with that, let's get straight into the video. First, let's go over the most important part and that's going to be sizing. When it comes to sizing in the essential fear of God clothing line, I always go a size down. So this knit sweater that I'm wearing is an extra small. I'm 5'6 and I weigh 150 pounds just to give you guys a general idea. If you do want an oversized look where the dimensions are oversized, but when it comes to the length, it's still going to fit your body, take one size down. However, if you do want it to be more fitted, that's when I would go two sizes down. And if you want a lot of breathing room and you don't mind if the sweater is going to be a bit too long on you, then go ahead and stay true to size. But with that, let's start to elaborate a bit more on the fit of this knit sweater. What I love so much, and I've said many times when it comes to my essential reviews, is that I love how they get the oversized look right. It looks intentional when it comes to the sleeves perfectly laying on your wrist and when it comes to the bottom of the knit sweater resting above your crotch it basically makes it look like this is tailored and it's meant to have that flowy drapey type of effect if you were to go oversized with something like a gilded hoodie what you would find is that the whole sweater is just not going to fit your body and it's going to make you look short and so this is why i keep saying i will keep investing in essential clothing just because they do the baggy trend right in a way that it looks purposeful and elegant and so when it comes to the overall fit i am absolutely in love with it on top of that let's talk about comfort with this knit sweater it was kind of up in the air because some reviews said that it was kind of itchy while others said it was the staple piece when it came to dressing comfortably throughout the winter months and what i can say is that it does not bother my skin whatsoever this is one of the most luxurious feeling pieces that i have especially for the price range the fact that when it comes to the regular price you could get this for 105 dollars if you can buy it retail it's 100 percent worth it that being said, I did get this in StockX for $150, which is still not that bad for resale. And I would recommend that price if you are looking into getting it off of the secondhand market. However, I would not go anywhere above $175. Don't get me wrong, it is an amazing piece, but with so many essential releases coming up, you can honestly just wait out and then get one that's gonna be in the retail value and save that extra money for some different pieces. Now, in terms of some of the cons that I've heard of this particular knit sweater is that you do get some loose threading. I've noticed that it arrived with one loose thread right here. However, that's something that you could take care of. And for me, I honestly don't mind it starting to age with me. I know that this is meant to give off that very clean and refined look. However, for me, I honestly don't care if it starts to disentangle just a little bit to give it a bit more character and show its age. The color on this particular knit sweater is so beautiful. It's a perfect balance between white and mint green. Now on the website, it did look like it was gonna be just mainly mint green. However, in person, it really depends on the light. And that's just one of those things where it shows the garment being more unique than most. If you are interested in this particular garment, they still have it up on StockX ranging at around $120, but with shipping and everything included, it's gonna be 150 but I definitely recommend it if you can't wait for the latest release because this one in particular has not skyrocketed to the $200 that the other knit sweaters have gone up to. Now let's get into the versatility that comes with this piece. First, let's talk about the weather. A lot of people were saying that this is a very thick type of knit sweater and I can say that it definitely has weight to it. However, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's thick in the sense that you can't layer with it. Ironically, I find that with this knit sweater, you can actually layer some of the Fear of God pieces better just because it has a drop shoulder instead of that different stitching that the hoodie or the regular cotton crewnecks have. That being said, it isn't something that you're going to be able to wear 
in the summer just because it is thick however yesterday i wore it to the beach and it was so windy and this thing did not keep me warm so hopefully that gives you an idea that while it is a warm comfortable sweater it's not something that it's going to be so hot that you're basically never going to be able to wear however if you live in la or florida don't expect to wear this when it's 85 degrees outside all right lastly let's go ahead and just show off a couple outfits that you can style with this garment just to show you the versatility that comes with it the first outfit is going to be the knit sweater black skinny jeans my thursday rogue boots and an off-white belt to give it a bit more personality and flair this is a perfect outfit and it shows that even though the fear of god aesthetic is tailored more for athleisure streetwear or even loungewear you can still wear it in a menswear type of context or even combining the saint laurent aesthetic with the fear of god essential aesthetic and making it look cohesive and like i said you can also layer with this garment and still feel comfortable so you can throw on a denim jacket this jacket right here is the essential fear of god denim jacket and the combination obviously pairs well together but like i said unlike the hoodie or the crew neck it doesn't feel too stuffy when i do layer with these All pieces right guys, hopefully you like this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what essential pieces do you have your eyes on but stay stylish and stay humble